at 141 pounds. Chad Rudd comes from the eighth seed, defeats the number one seed, Mike Carr, in the quarters and all the way to the finals against last year's Big Ten champion, Joy McKenna, for the Buckeyes. Great job of Chad Redd getting to the finals here with that big win over Mikey Carr. Again, the number one seed. You know, you get to this tournament, though, that number one seed doesn't mean much unless you back it up. And actually, Mikey Carr ended up finishing eighth in this weight class here as the number one seed. And you see how Red took over that number one seed, and here he is in the finals. And uh, McKenna uh, got the uh, win over Lee. That's a revenge. That's a turnaround in the dual meet. Lee defeated McKenna. So little, here they go. Yeah, that was a little bit more workmanlike by McKenna. Didn't go out with maybe as much emotion, but still was very aggressive in that match and got a lot of great takedowns. And so, you know, he looks, McKenna looks like he's back to the form that we had last year where he's Big Ten champion and then, you know, ended up becoming a third place finisher of the Nationals, only losing 1 0. Bryce Meredith in the uh, semifinals. So right there. And. You're Chad Red, you're kind of on house money a little bit here today, and he's got a, an explosive double leg. McKenna coming up, trying to peek out here to the other side. Chad Red Jr., a sophomore out of Indianapolis, Indiana, New Palestine. His dad, Chad Red, has been his coach all his life, runs a uh, wrestling club, very successful wrestling club in the Indianapolis area. Dude. Great job of going ahead and keeping that. Now he's going to, Red is going to go ahead and grab that leg back again. Now he's going to roll through. Can McKenna catch him? He's pretty solid in this position. He keeps his legs over the top. Collects the takedown. Joy McKenna, the Big Ten champion out of Tawaka, New Jersey, Blair Academy. Started at Stanford. After a couple of years, he was an All-American there as a freshman, and after a couple of years, transferred to Ohio State, and he's been money for Coach Tom Ryan there on the left. Jay Jaggers, the two-time NCAA champion for the Buckeyes, his top assistant. You and I were mentioning off-air about, you know, when guys used to do those roll-throughs, that was just some, seemed like found money. You know, speaking of money, that's found money right there, doing the roll-through, get it now anymore. It's just like change going down the gutter. These guys have been have addressed it, they're sprawling at the right time, they're anticipating guys coming in at their ankle on the roll through, and they're collecting the points. Chad Red getting hot at the right time since December 15th, three months, he's only been about, he's six and six coming into this uh, tournament, and he has turned it on here with a three big wins to get to the finals. McKenna's been steady all year, the redshirt senior, a two-time All-American. Was a U.S. Open champion, the USA Wrestling Championships, as a collegiate last year, which isn't done often. A contender at that international, uh, for the international uh, USA wrestling team. He'll be heard from for a long time. And a lot of that inconsistency, Tim, has to do with, you know, just, just he's a big 141 pounder, okay? He's, you know, Friday, Sunday, weigh-ins, keeping your weight under control. There he goes, that lookout right position, and now you can see the talent of Red. Keeping his feet, McKenna driving back in on that. Boy, he had it going one way or the other here. Red did a nice job to delay that takedown, but it was, uh, McKenna has great anticipation of what your next scramble is. He executes so well, he's, uh, he's a perfectionist. He's 4.0 student. Everything he does, he wants to be great, and he certainly has uh, made an impact on this Buckeye team since coming over from Stanford. And uh, by set. the way, congratulations to Jason Borelli, the head coach of Stanford, who won their first ever Pac-12 uh, championship this weekend. In 85 years of wrestling, Stanford's never won a conference championship. They upset the host uh, Arizona State, and, and uh, so pretty neat to see the kind of program uh, come to the heights that uh, Stanford has this year. Well, that's amazing because, you know, everybody thought at the beginning of the year, Stanford, or, or, excuse me, of Arizona State with returning national champions, Zahid Valencia and the, the recruiting that they've had in that program. That's quite an effort. Congratulations to Osprey and the Cardinal. And it was Jason's birthday yesterday, so that's a pretty good present. <laughs> and, you know, the key... To, I, I would say to McKenna winning it all or winning against the tough is what he's doing right now and that's the ride well you know there's a, there's a match out there in his future he hopes against the returning national champion in Yanni Biaka Mahalas who's an excellent scrambler who's also very unique skill set gifts 
great strength, incredibly long arms, and it seems like he, he, he can get to things so quickly. And, you know, I, I know in the back of his mind, he's, he's wanting to do everything that he can, including winning this match here in decisive fashion here to get to go into that situation with a lot of confidence. The tournament certainly be the top two guys. You know, one of the things that has been happening around the Big Ten and in the nation is this, uh, uh, the great wrestling rooms that are uh, being built. And Ohio State has one that's going up, will be world class. And the reason I bring it up is Joey McKenna interned with the uh, uh, the company that built the wrestling complex last year. And comes from that kind of stock. His dad, Jimmy, is the CEO of a construction company in Manhattan. But uh, what a facility. Ohio State's going to unveil here in a couple of months, and they're going up all over the place, Jim. Well, congratulations. It's because you've got these great programs run by these coaches that, that uh, want to create legacies of their sport on their campus, not only with their performances. And talking to Pat Dungai from Penn State, and don't think that they're going to get left behind either. <laughs> so get back to this match here, Chad Red. Their top position, doing a pretty good job of staying with McKenna. All right, roll through right there. Be careful with that knee. Good job. Three. Boy, you talk about the head up all the time, Jim. Yeah. McKenna just did a great job of that. Yeah, and he's now getting back points. He got at least two. Again, he's focusing on you. Everything's thinking you run up there on the shoulders, you're going to get it. But he focuses on splitting the legs right there, keeping the belt buckled to the sky, and the shoulders will follow. Moving to it. You're just joining us, Sebastian Rivera, Sea Bass, as they call him, from. Northwestern won at 125 over Spencer Lee in overtime. Nick Soriano from Rutgers is the 133-pound champion. We're at 141 pounds here at Williams Arena in Minnesota for the Big Ten Wrestling Championships. Six New Jerseyans in the finals. Four Pennsylvanians. Half the field is from New Jersey or Pennsylvania. One of those is Keep Joey moving. McKenna to walk in New Jersey. Keep that legal. A Blair Academy Keep that legal. product. Yeah, he's, he's Red, the kind of guy that you give up that first takedown and you have to work so hard to get out. And you may, you may not, but it's just like that. He, he's, you know, I, I'd have to think that with, with his experience and how tough he is in the top position. He gets that first takedown. There's just like a, a deep exhale that happens when you're out there in matches. I got this one. And so it's going to be interesting, again, in a week and a half to see what this man's quest is to become a national titleist. And when you mention he's so this, tough in the top position. I've been watching Chad Red, and I think that's what happened. He started fast, and as soon as he got that, where he says, I got this, he made that run to the finals, and then he comes up against McKenna, and he might be saying, I don't know whether I have this or not. I know. And, uh, but that's how he got to the finals. Credit to Chad Red Jr., because he went out there and went after it, dictated the pace, and uh, took advantage of the opportunity to be on the side of the bracket. And it allowed him to get to the finals against Joey McKenna, last year's Big Ten champion. Good, always kind of measuring his stance. See how he drifts that hand, that left hand down. Always, he's always measuring how high he is up there. You know, getting that, those hands down. He doesn't come out of that stance very often, but he also keeps the weight on his toes. I love watching wrestlers that keep the weight off of their heels. And you take a look at the you know, guys that get in the finals are always moving their feet. Work through those positions. A minute left in the third period. Joey McKenna out in front, eight to two. He's had takedowns. He's had back points. He's having it his way. Joey McKenna, last year's Big Ten champion, going for two. And you mentioned it, Jim. It's workmanlike because... Uh, if you think this is Joy's, you know, uh, pinnacle pursuit, uh, it is not because that comes in two weeks. No satisfaction unless he ends up on the top of the podium. 
And yet, you got to get what you got to get done. And that'll be something that he can never take away as a two-time Big Ten champion. Yeah, you're exactly right, Timmy. You got to go ahead. And, you know, in this next week and a half before the tournament, you're thinking, well, you know, I have what it takes. Everything's moving in the right direction. Getting it done. Can't wait to challenge myself on the big show. I have a style that's tough to beat, and I'm tough. The finish periods out strong. Two town Big Ten champion looking to add more to his NCAA credentials. He's excited, he should be, he has fun, he's a perfectionist, he's 4.0 in the grade point average, he's perfect two for two as a Buckeye in the Big Ten wrestling championships. Joy McKenna, your 141 pound Big Ten champion. Let's take a look at the highlights here with Joy McKenna. He's able to go ahead and get in on the leg. Really solidly, good finish. Again, chest high, drops back in, and that's after he showed a little look the other way. Chad Red was a pretty decent scrambler in a lot of situations here, but Joe McKenna just seemed to be one better, then followed it up and got some back points. And when he wants to stay on top of you, he's going to go ahead and do that. That aggressiveness here that we saw that was working against him is working for him now. And for the second year in a row, Shane has McKenna as the champion. Joey, you're a four-time conference champion, two in the Pac-12, and now a two-time Big Ten champion. You've wrestled on the biggest stages in the world. What triggers you into beast mode for these matches? Um, a lot of it right now is just staying calm, cool, and collected. Uh, you know, I know I'm a really good wrestler, but I just need to trust in God, trust in my preparation, um, and just go out there and let everything happen. Uh, I've held too much back before, so right now, just trying to let it all out there and unleash. Biggest differences technically between now and that of a year ago when you were third in Cleveland? I mean, I just know what I need to get to. Um, a lot more focus on my wrestling, less on what guys are gonna do, a little less scouting, just focus on me, um, what I can do out there, and just let wrestling happen. Congratulations. Thank you.